Hello friends, how are you? Lovely seeing you again. Thank you so much for coming back and be part of my 50th birthday countdown celebration. Thank you so much and thank you for those who reached out throughout these last few weeks and shared with me some of the stories, some of what they learned throughout the years and that certainly gave me the opportunity to see where I'm at in life. If I'm definitely walking my talk but also um, showed me how when we come together and we share with one another our own experiences of life then this journey of ours becomes a little less harder, definitely more fun, and we feel less alone in whatever it is that we, we're experiencing. So, without further ado, here are 10 more things I've learned through the years and which I live by, or at least I try to live by the best I can. Right, your best life is right now. And um, we all wait for that day to come. Um, you know, the day when we'll be feeling that we got it all together. And um, that day never comes. I've been waiting for it, it never came. And in the end, I grew so tired of, of waiting that I just decided to show up in all my messiness and contrasts and shades. And uh, here I am. And that gave me the opportunity to, to truly enjoy this journey rather than dreading it. Even when it's hard, even when I don't understand actually what it is that is, go that is going on around me and within me. But my choice to be fully present with what is actually allows me to show up with excitement rather than dread. So yes, let's learn to be right here where we are and then let's use its wisdom. Right. Find your voice and learn how to use it. We've all got things inside of us are dying to be voiced, dying to be shared. And then normally we throw them out there, not thinking of the consequences. And this has been one of the hardest things I learned in my life, when to deliver my message and when to be quiet, because my timing was often off. And also my, my delivering the message which I thought needed to be heard um, wouldn't necessarily impact those around me in the way that they could learn from. Um, it was wasted words. So it definitely was something quite hard to learn. It took me a long time. I'm probably still learning. But um, yes, do find that voice of yours. Use it. Use it for the greatest good of all rather than for your own benefit or because it makes you sound clever or good or it makes you feel like you you changing the world because the world doesn't need changing. The world needs reminding of what it already is. So yes, choose silence at times is best. Certain things are best kept quiet. So sometimes the best place to be is your backyard. And we all want to go on these grand adventures, you know, and then we forget to see what's close to home. The beauty that we have in our, in our backyard, really, in our own little garden, on our, on our own um, urban balcony. You know, what do we see through our window? And of course, we'll all get enamored um, of the idea of being somewhere really far and then we open the window and this beautiful scenery. And yet, living in a metropolis such as London really taught me that quite often what we have right in front of our eyes, no matter whether it is pretty or not, has such a wealth of, um, of wisdom or life herself, you know, life hides in the traffic jam on a packed tube. Um, and it's quite funny how I found that at times, even when it's super loud and uh, there's loads and loads of people around me, there's always the moment when I can really feel life and I can really sense that silence that speaks a thousand words. So yes, let's learn to treasure what we got closer to home. Right. Do not indulge in your apology. Yes, 
quite often we get life wrong. Um, we, we think we hurt someone else. And of course we want to make up for our wrongdoing, quite rightly so. But if we apologize too much, then we forget that it takes two to tango. That that dynamic is actually serving all the people involved and there's growth for, for everybody. Um, and, and quite often, we all done that, we keep someone else um, in blame um, because we're not able to see how we contributed to that dynamic. And it's quite an unfair, a toxic game to play. And so, yes, by all means, let's offer our apologies. I'm sorry, I got this wrong. Can we start again? Let's reset. But then let's also be able to move on, learn and move on. So yes, sorry, but not sorry. Okay, life is short. Get as comfort comfortable as you can. Yes, you know, Life, life is not just short, but it's also real tough. So let's get that extra cushion, that little buffer that, you know, shelters us from some of the harshness of life. We like the idea of being stoic. We like the idea of telling everybody that we are unfazed by life. But it doesn't have to be that hard. Let's give ourselves the opportunity to make this life a little easier a little bit more gracious and then let's enjoy it no matter what happens when we have that buffer when we have that little cushion we can fall back onto days when you think oh geez what's going on then then it's not so bad even when it's a little tough okay 50 is 50. Do not try and make up. It's the new 40. Yes, let's be right here where we're at in life. This moment is very sacred. Let's not try and make it something that is not. In a few weeks, I'll be 50 and no one, nothing will change that unless Lady Death come, comes to see me. And that is, that is the reality of it. Um, we... We think we go all the time in the world and we don't. And we, we forget to acknowledge the importance, the sacredness of each moment. And um, deep inside, I'm still that little girl who used to wake up in the morning thinking, yes, it's a new day. What, what, what's going to happen today? I can't wait. I'm still, I'm still that little girl. But the rest of me has a different needs. And I have to acknowledge that so I can actually support myself and support that little girl and still have fun and excitement in life. Because if I don't look after my car, then, you know, that little girl can no longer go anywhere. She cannot travel anymore. I need this. I need this to function well. And I need to acknowledge where I'm at in life. So, yes, let's embrace our age. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Certain wrinkles cannot be hidden. They are your wisdom. They got nothing to do with beauty. They're actually your beauty, you know. They got nothing to do with looks, but they are real, your real beauty. And it should never be hidden. So get, by all means, get the facial, get the cream, and get the expert to, to you know, maneuver your skin a little bit. But at the same time, tell them to leave those wrinkles in place. Do show them with pride because they are who you are, what you learned throughout this incredible journey of yours. You know, they are the little memories you collected along, along the way. They are there to share with the world. So yes, be proud of your wrinkles. Right, life is short, resentment short even more. And I'm not going to add much more to this. That hurt, that pain that you've been carrying along down the road, it's right on your back and it wakes you down. Just get rid of it. Let it, you know, let it come off and then carry on walking light and happy and grateful for all the many experiences. So yes, ditch the resentment. Okay. Right. 
If your train is going somewhere you no longer wish to be, get off and board a new one or just stay where you are. But you don't need to stay on that ride if it's not fun anymore. We all do that. We all want to get to the end. Um, and at times we, it's important for us to get off the train. And, um, and so we can go off and do new things. Whatever needed to be learned, whatever needed to be seen, it has been seen. If we stay on that ride, then we deprive ourselves of the opportunity to do new things, to start experiencing new things. So, yes, get off the train if you can. Jump off, you know, don't be afraid, you're not going to die. So, right. Least but not last. When you look down on others, remember, we we'll all use the little John. Yes, we all go and see good old John quite a few times a day, actually. And I'm, what I mean by this is there are intrinsic things to human life which really make us quite similar. And we forget that. We place ourselves above people around us or way below. And we forget that we we'll all go to the loo. And that's the truth. That is one of the most important things I've learned in life. Um, and then, you know, it actually really changed me because it made me realize that while I don't necessarily think we're all the same, we certainly are many or one, but we're here to experience life in different ways. But that is something that makes us really the same. And so when I'm up there or when I'm down there, I forget that we're all remembering together. We're all reminding one another. We're all remembering together. So, yes, remember John. <laughs> okay. And for those who don't know, John is the American for... Um, Loo for the toilet. So yes, okay. Uh, right. From a little corner here in the city of London, with much love and grace from my heart to yours, I salute you, dear friend, and I thank you so much for um, come and play with me week after week um, while we wait for my big birthday to arrive and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to, to do this with good friends and uh, with myself as well. It's been, it's been fun and I am definitely very grateful. So yes, thank you so much and I shall see you next week for the fourth part of this five-week series. Can't wait. All right, cheerio, take care.